Okay, we're here today with head football coach John Anderson. How are you doing today, coach? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, the Yellow Jackets opened up this past Saturday at Lock Haven. Uh, coach, you uh, kind of described the game when we talked as being best described as a tale of two halves. Uh, describe the first half for us. Well, I felt like our, our players came out focused um, and, and stuck to our game plan. Well, we, we moved the ball up and down the field offensively. Uh, struggled to, to score uh, touchdowns in the red zone anytime you get down there. Uh, we'd like to uh, come away with touchdowns. Uh, we were we ended up being uh, uh, kicking field goals instead. Uh, had a had a true freshman kicker make his make his first points uh, uh, of the, of his career, uh, Josh Rubers, and uh, he was two for three on field goals and uh, one for one on PATs. So we feel like uh, we're going to continue to grow uh, with our kicking game uh, on the extra points and field goals. Uh, defensively, well, we did some great things in the first half. We uh, um, won a sudden change, uh, took over on the, on the eight yard line, and then walked away with the field goal. I was very happy with uh, our defensive performance there. We try to um, always uh, uh, prepare for sudden change and win that when that opportunity comes. We had uh, uh, defensively as well, we had a third and, third and one stop in the middle of the field. We also uh, 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 defended. Uh, a two-minute situation. So I, I felt like when we walked off the field with the score six, six to three, uh, that we we're in a good situation. I uh, felt like our, our offensive tempo was going to continue to do things uh, good for us in the second half. And uh, uh, I just urged the guys uh, at halftime to come out. Score was zero zero in our minds at that point, and to to play the second half similarly to the, what they did in the first half. Then the second half, he came out, and of course, Lock Haven took the opening kickoff. And how describe that second half, and how big an influence did that opening that opening drive there's have on that second half? Do you think? Well, any time that uh, you take the ball to begin with with the game, you got to obviously uh, have the mindset that the second half you're going to start out on defense first, and, mm -hmm. and I was fine with that. I still think it was a good decision. Um, we we came out just just a little bit flat. They they uh, um, moved down the field on us, and and I don't think that. Uh, um, our mindset was where it needed to be. I still think we're we're fighting to grow up as a football team, and uh, we, we played well the first half. Felt like we were in control of the game, and I don't know if we put it on cruise control at that point or, or not. But uh, the third quarter got out uh, of hand for us in, in, in a lot of different ways. Um, you, you talk about uh, um, all three phases uh, not supporting each other. Usually, when when one is down, you want the other two to, to bring the other two up. We had. Uh, uh, so a lack of execution in the kicking game uh, that led to some short fields. We had uh, offense went uh, uh, three and out uh, several times there, and, and, and defensively we had several blown coverages. And you, you had all those three those three phases up, and, and that was that was a 20 point, 20 point, 28 point swing for us. And we can't afford to do that to to any team. And, and you credit Lock Haven they capitalized on on our miscues and and put points on the board and. Um, you know, I just felt like like that third quarter, we we couldn't get the ship righted at that point, and, and that was that was a difference in the game for us. Of course, the final score ended up being thirty-one to thirteen. Uh, how did you feel about that last drive, though, that the team put together? I was, I was glad. I was very happy to uh, see our guys continue to battle, continue to fight. Um, we, we we spent a lot of time yesterday uh, talking about this as a staff, and, and our guys. Nobody quit. Nobody pointed any fingers on the sideline, and and while that's that, that may sound like a minor thing, that that's a very big thing in the development of our program. Uh, our guys are continuing to to learn how to do the right things and how to how to how to battle for four quarters. Obviously, we played we played three, and and we'll, you know that's an important lesson that that we're going to take away from uh, this game is that we have to play four full quarters. Okay, Coach, and what were some of the bright spots that you saw on Saturday? I mean, of course, this is your opening game of the season. You don't see the guys in scrimmage. Um, what were some of the bright spots that you saw out there in the field? Well, I believe that uh, we ran the ball uh, very effectively in the first half and at times in the second half. Uh, we had two tailbacks that uh, I think combined for, for close to 180 total yards. The uh, Floyd Phillips had, had a career high. Uh, 20 plus carries for, for 107 yards, I believe. Um, Josh Wade came in and ran the ball 
extremely hard as well, had close to 70 yards uh, rushing. And that's, uh, that, that's credit to those guys, but uh, in my opinion, when you're able to run the ball effectively on, on a consistent basis, that's, that's a whole offensive uh, uh, accolade. You know, our offensive line uh, did a great job uh, providing holes, and, and we, got some big, we had some big chunks of yardage, uh, six, seven, eight, ten yard rushes in there. Um, that's offensive line, that's tight ends, that's fullbacks, that's receivers blocking downfield. So that's a, a great job for those guys that, that, that carried the football, but, but when you're able to be a physical football team at the line of scrimmage, that's, that takes everybody on offense. So I was pleased uh, uh, with their ability to run the football. Okay. I know uh, defensive back, Irma Haley had a good game, uh, big golf pass, had five tackles. Um, now, what about his performance on Saturday? Uh, Romel had uh, had a big interception for us on, on a uh, on a sudden change where where we were out. I uh, felt like uh, everybody on the sideline was hollering it was going to be play action deep shot on there, and, and he, he he paid attention and, and uh, did a great job. Um, he's going to continue to to get better. Uh, Dominique Matthews, our senior safety, had a had a very very solid game. Um, maybe some things that aren't flashy that didn't show up uh, on highlights. But when you watch the game film, he did uh, uh, he did a lot of little things that uh, uh, um, put himself in a position to, to make plays, and, and, and he runs the show for us in the secondary with our coverages. And I was just very very pleased with the way Dominic uh, uh, played on on Saturday. You got Concord coming up this week again on the road. Uh, Concord's had put together a couple of good seasons the last two years. Uh, have you had a chance to think much about them yet? And what do you think about this week's coming game? Absolutely. Um, they, they went down to uh, uh, Lenore Ryan and, and beat a, a ranked Division II team in their house. Um, impressive showing from them. Uh, we're still, still breaking down the film, but uh, they, they, they look talented. They're going to be well coached. They're going to do some things uh, offensively and defensively that we're going to have to uh, uh, develop some schemes for. And uh, I know that uh, when we enter Mountain East play, that, that, the, that the talent and the and the, the level of play is going to step up a little bit, and, and we're looking forward to the challenge. We're going to be on the road for the second straight week, uh, which is fine. I thought our guys handled being on the road uh, really well, and uh, um, we're looking forward to, to opening up our first conference game, and we're conference games from here on out. So if we're going to make any noise in, in the Mountain East in this week one, or in this, in this year one, we need to be good on, on, on the road. Okay, Coach, thanks. All right. We've been with Coach John Anderson today, head coach of the Western State University football team. Good luck this weekend, Coach. Thank you.